Hi friends and welcome back to another video. My name is Julie if you're new here and today we're going to do a twilight quiz. So I actually just did another quiz which was the shadow and bone one and then I saw that they also had a twilight quiz on the same website that I just did the shadow and bone quiz on and I just knew immediately I had to do it because I have this weird obsession with twilight not really an obsession but I did have one when I was younger it was really the first paranormal romance series I read and also one of the first fantasy series. It's still one of my favorite fantasy series of all time and don't judge me on that. It just really is part of my teenage years and that's why I thought it would be a good idea to do this quiz to see how well I actually remember stuff that happened in this book because I'm really bad at remembering plots and storylines and especially detail stuff. So we're going to see now if I remember this correctly or if I remember this at all because it has been a while since I've read these books. I don't know when I last read these but it's definitely longer than five years ago, probably even longer than seven years ago. But I have read these more than once so that should give me kind of an advantage. Okay, if you want to join me in doing this quiz, I will leave the link down below in the description box. But you can also just do the quiz with me now and then check the score later. I will check if I have the answers correctly and go through the answers with you together. So we can check together which ones were correct or not. And then you can let me know in the end what your score would have been or if you don't want to do that you can just silently judge me that's also fine okay let's get started with the quiz we have 16 questions and let's get started dr cullen and his wife have how many adopted children good question so we have edward Emmett, rosalie jasper and alice that's five what class do Bella and Edward share? Biology. Ah, who doesn't remember the biology scene where Edward just acts as if Bella has the most horrid smell on earth and then asks to change his class after just seeing her for that one lesson and just holding his nose <laughs> the whole time. <laughs> I don't think he's actually holding his nose. It's even more awkward because he's like hi in the film at least he's hiding behind his jacket that is so funny okay so yeah they are sharing biology in an email to her mother bella assures her all is fine and she's reading which classic for english class oh that's an interesting one i think she's reading wuthering heights definitely not lord of the flies or the great gatsby is either wuthering heights or jane r I think it's Wuthering Heights. In Bella's dreams about Edward, he is always saving her life out of reach, black-eyed with the wolf. I think he is out of reach. That would definitely fit Bella's mindset the best because she is really longing for him and it seems like he is someone that she cannot have because she has pretty low self-esteem in the beginning. But to be honest, any of these could be true. Who is the first to ask Bella to the girl's choice dance? Oh, that, that is a good question because she gets asked by so many dudes. And that is hilarious to me because she's this really awkward, clumsy girl with who is also not that good socially with social interactions and then she just gets asked out by every single guy. I don't know if that is realistic. I don't think so. So we have Mike, Tyler and Eric. I don't think it was Eric because Eric is more on the shy side. He is the one that ends up going with Angela, I think. Mike is the one that has the really big confidence, right? Or is that Tyler? I think it's Mike. Definitely not Edward. Okay, let's just go with Mike. What city do Bella and Jessica plan to do a shopping trip in? It is Seattle. They really want to go to Seattle to buy, I think, 
prom dresses but they end up going to Port Angeles I think yeah but definitely none of the other cities what happens during the blood type experiment in biology class Edward is caught skipping class Edward's blood type comes back inconclusive Bella faints and is taken to the nurse Mike spills his blood sample uh, Bella feels faint and is taken to the nurse and I think Edward brings her there and that is just another point in the book that makes Bella seem really like she needs saving. She's, she's just so innocent and pure. Well well. What beach does Mike invite Bella to? Is La Push? That is the beach that is in the territory of the wolves and where she meets Jacob. Jacob explains the <laughs> our traditional enemies of tribal werewolves called once he tells her the legend at that beach it's the legend where he explains there are the cold ones which are basically the vampires and then there's this whole tribe of wolves that are their enemies and that are protecting the humans from these and that they have made this pact but then in the end he says oh this is all just mythology it's old stuff it's not real nobody really believes in that and that he doesn't really believe in that even though some people there do and take it very seriously but he really doesn't and then that gets important later on in the story when he can't talk about him being a werewolf anymore yeah and it's actually pretty evil because Bella flirts with him to get this information because she is suspecting that it might be important and that it might be what Edward is and she just shamelessly flirts with Jacob and gets his hopes up so bad and she's supposed to be that innocent no no she's playing with his feelings can you tell that I was team Jacob back then <laughs> Edward and his family drink what kind of blood um they drink animal blood they go hunting and they actually drink animal blood and they make this weird joke about themselves that they are vegetarians but nobody thinks about all of the animals that have to die for their blood support okay it's it's fictional and i have to admit i like that better than them just mindlessly killing humans but yeah donated human blood i think a lot of vampire shows have this as a trope that the vampires aren't actually drinking like fresh blood from humans but they are drinking donated blood i think that happens in the vampire diaries a lot and i don't know how realistic that is because i don't think there's that much blood that is being donated that can just go missing but yeah they the colons definitely drink animal blood um which is not as satisfying to them as human blood but they still do it because they are good vampires and they are making the sacrifice because of their moral what type of animal blood does edward prefer white-tailed deer grizzly bear elk or mountain lion so there's this thing where in the twilight series they say that the type of blood they drink is the animal that most resembles themselves and for Edward that is the mountain lion and the grizzly bear is for Emmett I don't think I don't know if the other two are really anyone's favorite I know that the bear definitely is Emmett because he's huge like a bear and moves like one and Edward is compared to being as agile as a mud lion stuff something like that he is really fast which time of day does Edward tell Bella is the safest well I don't remember that but probably twilight because it's called twilight could also be could also be dawn because the other parts of the series actually are called different times of day and to be honest I don't know what all of these really mean so I'm just going to go with twilight what happens to Edward's skin in the sunlight this is probably the part of the series that gets made fun of the most because it sparkles and <laughs> that is pretty ridiculous if you think about it because in that scene he goes like aren't you scared of me Bella when she sees her sparkling and that is not scary Edward you're just 
good looking and sparkling. That is nothing to be afraid of. It would be way more scary if he started to disintegrate or if it would just burn him. And yeah, that's also the part of this probably the most unique or different from other vampire series that the sun really doesn't do anything to him and it's pretty convenient you have to say that because he can just lead a pretty normal life apart from yeah he can't really go into direct sunlight because he will sparkle but it won't kill him so it's not as bad even if somebody were to see it it wouldn't mean that he is the one that has to die the other person could also you know disappear anyway yeah that that is a weird part of the book but also just so cheesy that it really fits the paranormal romance genre what year did Carly transform edward that is a good question because when does twilight take place what year is twilight set in because I know that Edward is around 104 years old. So that would mean that would be 2005. That would be 2016. I think this makes the most sense if you think about when Twilight was released. I think then it's probably 1912 because it is definitely set around the time when Twilight was released. That is, I think, the time that the book is also set in. So let's go for that. Bella proposes a plan to escape to Phoenix when she is told James is what kind of vampire? A tracker. He, a sniffler. Oh my god. What, what is a sniffler? Um, a tracker because he can trace her scent. And he will track her down no matter what. When he has smelled her scent for the first time, he got hooked. And he now wants to get her and will not stop before he has found her. Wait, what? I have one unanswered question. How did that happen? Let's go back. Which one? Wait, I have answered all of these. Which one? Oh, the second one. What gift does Charlie give Bella upon her arrival in Fox an old truck? He gives her a really old truck that Jacob's father and Jacob bring to her house. And she falls in love with it immediately, even though it is really old and not a really shiny new car or anything. But she loves it because it is so sturdy and so all American. It's really funny the way that it is described in the book is like this book is so much better than all foreign cars because it will <laughs> because it will withstand anything even if there were an accident to happen my car would withstand everything and that's just I, I don't know I thought that was really funny. Okay let's submit this quiz now. Ready to see how you did? Yes, submit. Oh, 88. That's not too bad. I'm not mad about this, but let's see which ones I got wrong. I knew there were a few in there that I weren't that sure of. Yes, he is a tracker. Oh, see, man, I might also be that I'm just really bad at math. I actually had this number in mind, but then I thought it would be smarter to just calculate it wasn't smart anyway yes he sparkles oh it was twilight ha. yeah okay it's the title of the series i know that's not a great achievement here but anyway mountain lion animal blood the cold ones yes la push bella feels faint and is taken to the nurse seattle also correct oh it was eric oh no Oh, uh, then that is the scene where he gets told that he should ask out Angela. I didn't think it was the first one because it was so shy, but apparently not. Good to know. Out of reach was correct. Ha, <laughs> even Withering Heights was correct. Biology and five children, the old truck, and that was it. I only got 
two questions wrong, right? That's good. I'm weirdly proud of that. I don't know if I should be. And as I have talked about this, I realized that I know way too much about these books and the series. But <laughs> anyway, that was interesting. I hope you enjoyed it as well. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye!